I'm Courtney Nash. I'm an editor with O'Reilly Media and the newly minted co-chair of Velocity, the Velocity Conference. Uh, and I'm joined here today by Steve Souders and John Alspa, my new co-chairs. And we are here to talk about Velocity, yeah. New York. New York. The Big Apple. Specifically, we're, here. we're in John's uh, home turf, his stomping grounds. What's it feel like? It feels awesome. It yeah. feels it feels awesome and, uh, and and weird to not have jet lag yes. uh, on the first day of Velocity. <laughs> um, no yeah, that's getting paid awesome. back now. Yeah. It's West Coasters. Does it feel uh, homey? It does. It does feel homey. Although I was I was a bit shocked or or surprised to say uh, how many people one had never been to Velocity and two folks that weren't actually from New York. I'd say it was, what do you think, 80% new by the hands that went up? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you were shocked. The, the, I, I was surprised by the amount of people who said they were not living in New York City, yeah. although I guess there is a lot of community that goes on. But we were talking last night, and I think that's what we kind of expected and hoped for, was that 80% yeah. of the people would say this was their first velocity. And that's what we were hoping, too, about... I mean, it's a little bit of a risk to bring the show to New York, right? You know, yep, we're, yep. we're taking out another show, starting, start kind of starting up again like we did six years ago back out in California. Out of Webland. Yeah. Someplace and, new. And, you know, what, something that's going to make this, you know, uh, long lived is to have a lot of people who are here on the East Coast who want to get DevOps stuff. Yep. And so that's what we're seeing is that there are a lot of people who haven't made the trek to California or Europe. Yep. And so I think things are looking good for New York. Yep, yeah. yep. I'm thinking that uh, we've already got a really strong morning. Yes. We're at lunch now. Uh, all of the keynotes, I think, really rocked it. Yeah. Um, sometimes, I have to say, I'm always a little bit, um, I mean, yay, we had an awesome uh, keynote lineup, and this is great. We always want to start strong. Um, but in, in some cases, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's like the, the pre-lunch and the post-lunch and the dynamic between uh, s smaller but like very impactful talks versus longer and a little bit deeper dive in 40-minute talks in the afternoon adds to that feeling of your brain being full at the end of the day. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's a My brain first was world full problem. yesterday. <laughs> I'm already saturated. Like. Yeah. So what do you think, is it, is it going to be really different here than in California? Uh, uh, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much of it is to be attributable to New York and how much of it is going to be attributable to this 80% of people who have never been yeah. before. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. I think that there's a number of talks, a number of topics that um, they're going to be talked about here that we hadn't talked about before. For example, there, uh, uh, well, Fred Wilson this morning. Uh, um, gave a perspective that was completely unique. I don't think we've, we, we've he's we've ever sort of broached some of the topics. Um, uh, Dr. Cook expanded on, on uh, uh, I'd say probably dug a lot deeper in some of this stuff two years ago. Yeah, uh, last year, two years ago, last year um, uh, in Santa Clara, but expanded it even more. Um, and so, and then tomorrow we'll have a keynote that's going to touch on security. Yeah, there's more security First time. at this conference than we've First ever time had we're going to touch on, really. on yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know that that's unique to New York, though. I think that's no. just yeah. a change it's in the landscape. It's just interesting. Well, yeah. and there's been a lot to talk about on that front lately, obviously. Yeah. Yep. And I was actually just in a session um, that had a couple of guys from Cafe Mom about Hurricane Sandy. Oh, yeah. Which was obviously very unique yeah. to, to New York. Disasters aren't, but that happened about a year ago here. And it so was a big deal. Yeah. It was a big deal for all of uh, the Etsy office in, in Dumbo in Brooklyn, just across the river, was shut down for close to a week and a half, yeah. almost two weeks. And uh, our CEO, Chad Dickerson, was the only one who lived really close enough to, to like wander down that area, which had just been completely, you know, just disaster with water found his way into like the office server room to see if there was internet connectivity and he went there like every day is servers it working underwater yet? Is it working yet? yeah yeah exactly yeah. so um but uh but yeah those those sorts of things i, I I'm, I'm hoping that we'll we'll get more um more of those types of stories because new york is pretty unique and that there is a boatload of people in a very small area which means that things like data centers and offices are, have a different sort of character. It's not as 
uh, sprawled out <laughs> as uh, the Bay Area, the peninsula, South Bay, and so forth. So I think there'll be some good, interesting, uh, interesting topics to talk about. So what do you think? Different, different crowd here yet that you can tell? That's the main thing for me is, you know, we always think about that, about how we could maybe, uh, how the personality of the conference, <laughs> even though it's velocity, might be different for the different locations. And, you know, I think there is some of that, but I don't feel like there's a lot of that. To me, it's just more that the attendees are a different group of people. Yeah. And so I'm talking to people here, and there's a lot more people from East Coast companies here, and they haven't been to, you know, a lot of the speaking I do is around the Bay Area, you know, just because it's so easy to drive up to San Francisco or down to San Jose. And so there are people here who haven't heard stuff that I've talked about or other, you know, uh, Google speakers or Facebook speakers have spoke about on the West Coast, and so these are new topics to them. And so it's more in the air there than it is yeah. here. I wonder if it's going to be a bit more of a fire hose. Yeah. Than oh, it might be. and it's just that those, those speakers who have been out there haven't had a venue here before, yeah. and so yeah. that's the main thing to me. And and the other side of that, uh, the the foil of that coin is that um, we don't, you know, when we're in Europe, we definitely. Uh, get U.S. speakers, but we try to get more European speakers. And when we were uh, putting the program together here, we, you know, got European speakers and California speakers and other speakers. But we also tried to really emphasize getting speakers from the East Coast, and so we have more of that. So it works both ways. And I think yeah. that's what you know a good thing about bringing Velocity uh, to this new location. Definitely. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm hoping that, that the I'm hoping that an East Coast crowd means that. Um, uh, well, let's say New York is, is, is not known for, for keeping their opinions to themselves. So I'm hoping that we'll things like the, the I, think, I hope that there are hard questions coming at the speakers. I hope that, that there are people pulling aside speakers in the hallway. Um, uh, those are the types of conversations which yield uh, good results. Um, and so I, that's, I, that's what I'm hoping. I don't know. I was in Archer track. Bergman's talk this morning, and I, I don't know whether either he uh, he was too intimidating for people to ask questions or, or what, but he didn't get many questions. I loved now, it yesterday. There was one speaker who said, hold your questions to the end, and the audience didn't. Yeah. And he kept uh, interrupting yeah, the speaker yeah, yeah. with awesome. the questions. And that's, to me, that's what I love to see. Good. The yeah. audience Excellent. engaging. Excellent. All right. Then that, that's, that's a good that's sign. A good okay. Sign. So how about, I don't know how much more time we have. How about, uh, we talked a little bit about New York. How about yeah. just in general? Um, velocity trends. Okay, yep. so I'll go first since I sprung the question. I think uh, two trends I'm seeing, which aren't you know uh, like rocket science observations. One is mobile. You know we're seeing a lot of talks on mobile, yep. and there was a there's a sponsor session today from App Purify. There was a tutorial yesterday from Salesforce about mobile testing, mobile performance testing in particular. So of course mobile is just getting huge, and right now. Uh, mobile is just a one-day track, and you know I think we're going to have to grow that going forward. Yep. Um, and the other trend um, that uh, uh, I've been seeing, oh, is um, a lot of focus on rendering. And so, mm. you know, generally, especially where I started, like you know, my first book and second book to focus a lot on network optimization. A little bit about JavaScript and kind of the interaction of the two. Yep. Um, we actually haven't had JavaScript performance talks. We've had Crockford and Resig in the past. John yep. Resig's yep. here this yep. week, by the way, but he's not speaking. Um, but we do have talks this week about rendering performance. Yep. So I would say those are the two things, mobile, of course, and looking at rendering. It's mm -hmm. a good call, I think. You guys, anything? What do you think? Um, I think... We've seen it in the past at O'Reilly, but it's. Be, I feel like there's a groundswell now of awareness around um, institutionalizing failure. That sounds mm -hmm. horrible, but I think mm -hmm. you know. Not that the, for a while, I think a year or two ago, it was like bad stuff's gonna happen. You know, it's gonna happen. Now, but yeah. now we're getting to a maturity around talking about what does that really mean? How do yeah. you do that? It's it's not as scary as it necessarily sounds. So the sort of idea of of, of not just right. presuming things are gonna go sideways, but sort of Planning yeah. on it, you know, running, I think the game day scenario stuff from Obama really brought that out into the light. So now we're seeing a lot more, you know, talks around that. I don't know if I'd call it a trend. It's almost like a maturation more than a trend. Yeah. Um, so I didn't yeah. answer your question. That's a good word. No, I think it's, <laughs> a, I think that, I think that that is a good, uh, well, no, that's a good That thing. is a pretty yeah. good um, insight as well because um, 
that's the thing at least that we're hoped for. And also, I think that I agree in that uh, it used to be, um, uh, at least in the community, embrace failure because it's always going to be there. Like a very like depressing, yeah. it's going to be. Uh, and which is kind of like, well, we scared people into, yes. into you know, looking at their architecture. Whereas now it's sort of like, oh, well, of course, like that is the thing. And it's not scary if you're thinking about it every day. That came out in Dr. In Dr. Cook's talk, right? Yeah. It used to be like, how secure is everything? And now it's like, how flexible and resilient is everything? And Fred's talked too, uh, you know, he had his eight points, but one of them that really stuck with me is uh, you know, when bad stuff happens, don't, you know, start going don't frantic. Panic. Yeah, like stop and figure out what you're doing before you take your next step. And that came up in the Cafe Mom Talk too. Yeah. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the problem. Uh, sorry, the problem here is that as, as Velocity gets uh, bigger and better and bigger and better, I don't get to go to all of the talks because <laughs> I'm introducing. And there's at least, I now have, um, just looking at the schedule today, I have at least three conflicts because I'm not going to be able to see this. So to share make sure you keep all these cameras working. I have one working. word for you, video. Video yes. is the yeah. only way I'm going to do it. So that's, it you know, once the videos come up two, yeah. four weeks after Velocity, I've got to block major chunks of the day to just watch, watch all the, the videos. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Uh, so, I mean, you, you definitely, mobile would have been something I obviously would have talked about. I think within mobile, trend-wise, is starting to really understand the impact of responsive design on performance. Um, you know, I think that we've gone we've we've gone from responsive is amazing, you know, sort of, and not really looking at the performance, coming more from a, a user experience and a design side to now the point where the people who care more about performance are starting to really look deeply at that and realize that there's some, you know, there be dragons a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Jason Grigsby is going to do a talk on that on that, yeah. uh, I think tomorrow. And so. Sam Cadillac did yesterday. Yeah. Do we get your trends, John? Uh, yeah. So the 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 one trend that I was going to say is is that um, that people are part of the system. The systems that we work in are not. There is no line. There is no uh, um, perfectly neat line between the machines that we work with and the people who operate and design what those machines do. And I think that came out in Dr. Cook's talk. I think that came out in Fred Wilson's talk. It's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna show up uh, in a number of different culture talks um, uh, later today. Um, uh, I think that the more and more we can peel back this, um, this sometimes really compelling assumption that people do people things and machines do machine things and never the twain shall meet. Yeah. And and getting and and moving away from the idea that our goal is to get the machines to do as much as possible, um, and get as get humans out of the way. Keep them from doing the stupid things. Yeah, and that sort of it that it it is a very 1970s uh, ideal, and um, I I like that we are um, methodically. I, it feels like methodically, at least thematically, peeling apart that that idea and that say some of the most successful organizations in our field are, are those organizations that, that recognize that the relationship between a man and, and, and machine, human and machine, are, um, is cooperative. It's not a versus, and it's not a replacement, or, or, either either or. or an either yeah. or. Um, and, uh, and I think that um, that's, that's my hope, is that this is the early signs of, of that theme playing out. Excellent. Now, um, <laughs> there are three tracks that are supposed to start in just a few minutes. Yeah, we yeah. gotta go. And gotta go. each of those three speakers needs someone to introduce them, and we have three co-chairs. Yes. So I think we have work to do. We do Excellent. have work to do. All right. Okay. Thanks, gentlemen.